Uh, so VIDAR is really changing the way we think about visual search, the way we plan and execute those tasks. It's given us the capability to search a wider area faster than with traditional methods and the Australian Maritime Safety Authority is really leading the way in introducing this capability to our search and rescue region. VIDAR adds incredible value and incredible capability to search and rescue operations. For example, currently searching for a small object on the surface of the water, or for example a person in water, an aircraft would be tasked by the Australian Maritime Safety Authority to conduct primarily a visual search with the Mark 1 eyeball observers and to be complemented as an electronic search using a maritime patrol radar and an EOIR sensor. Where VIDAR fits a capability gap is it conducts a wide area maritime search with a series of nine megapixel cameras. For example, the Challenger 604 aircraft has three staring array cameras fitted, which provides a 120 degree footprint examining the surface of the ocean whilst it's traversing a search area. VIDAR detects very small objects on the surface of the water and presents them to the operator. The operator then has the ability to cue the primary sensor, the EOIR, for further identification of the target. VIDAR has proven to enhance search and rescue activities, reduce operator fatigue, increase situation awareness, and importantly reduce task saturation with a sensor operator if they're operating multiple sensors. For example, recent feedback during a training mission was that VIDAR was able to detect very small objects such as a foam buoy that was located on the top of the surface of the water during a training event. VIDAR was able to detect this in a timely manner in a range of sea states and environmentals. It presented this to the operator. The operator was able to cue the primary sensor, the EIR, and further identify that as being the orange buoy. The orange buoy was said to be the size of a human head, thus validating the capability and the strength of VIDAR as a passive sensor to complement visual search activity and electronic search.